okay uh, in this part 3 of spring boot we are going to cover the few things like uh, in first tutorial we have learned how to create a spring boot application by eclipse archive archetypes and now here we will learn the other ways by which you can we can create a spring boot applications so the second way is the spring start spring io this is a site you can refer this is the site where you can just need to select few things and by a cl few clicks you can create a project what so you can spring initialize this website and it's pointing to the current spring version spring boot version 1.4.2 you can change it to the older one okay and so you can generate project here so i like to i like to work on the full version because here you can see uh, so what group id you want to give what artifact id name of the project description example and what you want to make a var or jar and which java version you want to use and language it also provide the groovy and kotlin so here in below you can see it's give you flexibility to choose any frameworks or library which you want uh, like if you want to create a spring bab mbc spring socket you want to use bab service and uh, there are many bab frameworks there are many core frameworks as spring security op so you can use anything okay and uh, so here you can select uh, any core framework spring core framework uh, yes you can see there are many thing has been provided template engines also there are database you can select which database you want to use no sql database or sql database and there are many framework you can select like uh, if i uh, say that if i create to spring mbc i want to use spring security also in that framework my package name is let's say com dot see let it com dot example dharma uh, project project is for you spring io so you can select it so we have select like we have selected bab and spring here you can spring io aop let's select this too so whatever you select below that will come here you have selected bab security jpa three things you have selected or you can write it here also aop so three things we have selected you can write it here if you want to select by checkbox you can do it from here in blue okay and uh, so just click on this gen project it will generate project structure for you you can see if I open it here. demo mvc src main java com example we generate the first file also it's it's not visible correctly if we open it, this extracted project and import it in the eclipse you will get the whole structure of the project whatever you have selected which framework you have selected so this is the second way to create a project first way is to create a project by the archetype second way is to create project by the spring initializer and now we are going to discuss the third way third way is the spring boot cli okay so spring boot cli so just go into the google type spring boot cli download if we give you the link just open that link in this link you will find installation installing the spring boot cli manual installation you need to download the zip file okay click on it download will start i've already downloaded that 
okay and so here you can see the installation guide for this here you need to set up few environment variable like spring underscore home the directory we have where we have installed this unzip this file so i have unzipped it into the d drive software here spring one point so this will be my spring underscore home environment variable if you see my environment variable let me show you the environment variable system properties environment variable spring home so this is my spring home and we need to add the path variable for this so we will add spring home slash win because we need to add this path bin path bin folder path in bin paths environment variable okay so that i have added uh, after adding this if you go if you go to the command line command prompt and type spring hyphen hyphen version so version okay so spring hyphen hyphen version it will give you the cli version which you have so if you look into this detail you will find uh, uh, the, uh, there are the other way also the groovy you can install by the groovy you can do that you can generate the code in groovy so this is the third way and uh, if you like the command line by the command line you can do this by the cli so we have three way to generate the spring boot code template code not the actual code because the actual code you have to write the business logic you have to provide that in template files or you also need to create a new files based on your requirement your business logics so the first way is to create a project by the clips arc spring arc archetypes maven archetypes by eclipse maven project second way is the spring initializer that's uh, this website second is third one is the spring boot cli cli is a totally command based so you can do that by the command also okay so there are three ways so you can do all three which you are even but i prefer the eclipse way maven project or by the archetype okay okay so now we will okay that's it uh, for this tutorial in next tutorial we will cover how spring boot works how spring boot annotation that we have provided on app.java class works and uh, we also learn uh, why the spring boot is containerless why we don't want to deploy the spring boot application why would why we don't need a spring uh, web container to deploy the spring boot application why we don't need that so we will learn into that in next tutorial and this is tech mind for you and that's it from my side